today, it, in a way, the tables have turned and I have the opportunity of interviewing Matt. And so, so Matt, are you, are you ready? I think so. We're as ready as we can be. <laughs> so so we, we've had the summer sessions the past, mm. uh, I don't know, four weeks. Mm. Um, can you tell us just uh, how, how did you find that? How did you find uh, the sessions? How, um, how, how, how do you think did it go? I think they've been really great. It's been really good to hear real things, real life examples from people, people that we're familiar with, um, that we know are part of our spiritual family part of our house mm. and um, knowing how life has sometimes been shaped by experiences and how we get to shape experiences we get to shape life with as we go through experiences ahead of us as well so mm. um, that's been really really good uh, and to focus on the specific things of uh, I'm trying to remember I can get them all correct now but <laughs> calling influence future and one another um, if, if you take a moment to really think about those things, they're quite, they're quite accessible subjects, and yet we don't really pinpoint, put pinpoint um, focus on those sorts of things so frequently. And so it's really, really good to hear from Janine, Eddie, mm. Litsa, um, mm. and then last week in the room together when we were in the room at the rec to actually have conversation with people around tables. Yes. Um, on 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 the thought of one another. All of that's been really, really good, and and the the benefit of things like YouTube is you can go back and you can <laughs> listen to it again, and you can you can just pick up and see where you know where you can glean a few things, and where you can be encouraged, and where you can consider ways to approach situations and moments in life um, from a place of faith. Mm. Yeah, it's been good. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so, so you know, t today we are going to talk about new beginnings. Mm. And um, there's a well-known um, verse in, in, in Ecclesiastes 3 that says that for everything there is a season and a season has an end and it has a, a beginning. Mm. And in many respects, uh, we are entering a new season or a new beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for the church, uh, what would you say uh, are, are they? And or not just for a church, but obviously that includes us as well yeah yeah so you mean uh things like there's a new school term coming yeah yes, yes. uh it's actually a change of a season so we're changing yeah. from summer to autumn yay uh, <laughs> for those who really like the cooler weather um and it has been nice and warm this summer we don't get to say that too often yes. uh, it's been a really good warm summer um things like uh for us as a church quite a big pivot or shift from being in this hybrid space of managing our, our celebration experience online and in person, which has been kind of this um, to and fro alternating week by week mm. setup for various reasons. It's been good um, and I think it served us well, but there's a new season ahead of us with the shift from, the, from, from, from that into the next space of gathering in person every week mm. where we'll still continue some of the online experience but but we're going to be drawing the family together to gather together weekly it's those sorts of things which are quite yeah quite uh, interesting for where we're at yeah um but i think what's key in in the in your question is you said that there are starts and there are ends. And that's yes. the thing about seasons. Yes. Um, season is often thrown around in the church world. You know, it's quite a common phrase. It's almost Good like true. jargon. Mm. Uh, but if you take a moment and you think about it, um, seasons start and they must end. And so for some people, we've, we've come through perhaps a difficult season. Mm. For some people, we're still in that space. Mm. For some people, there's a, there's an excitement about the new the, the new starts, the new beginnings, the yes. new season, uh, and I think it's it's really good to draw from a text like that in Ecclesiastes, that just reminds you, you know, if it's a difficult spot, if it's a difficult time, that time will come to an end mm. because the season change. will change, mm. um, and and I suppose it's something for 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 those who are in good seasons, in a time where you're really enjoying it and you feel on top of the world and you feel like everything's going well, you know, just 
just be observant to the changes and what the next season might look like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well. And uh, as, a, as a follower of Jesus or a city changer, as, mm. as we say, how, how do you prepare yourself when you know you are approaching a new beginning? Well, I can only answer as how I would approach myself. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think it would be to, I think it would be, look at the example of Jesus. Look at the way that he walked. Mm. The way that he engaged with people. The way that he, um, he was intentional in, in every moment. Um, whether it was at the wedding mm. or it was walking down a street um, or in the temple, what it was. Whatever space he was at, whoever he was with, he was intentional. And when you're intentional about life, it's almost as if you've 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 always got the you've always got the radar on. So you're always on the lookout for what's happening. You're not you're not wanting to walk life in a way where you're kind of um, tunnel vision, where you where you where, mm. where you're not a, not being fully aware of what's what else is going on around the things that you want to look at. Mm -hmm. um, and and while, I, while I'm struggling to think of a scripture in, <laughs> in the gospel stories where it, it reflects that, I think the way that we see Jesus lived mm -hmm. um, and, and showed his example, yeah. it's got that air about it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think fo follow, follow Jesus and... Obviously, today we have the Holy Spirit, and there's that, there's that text in Galatians 5, which speaks about walking in step with the Spirit, um, making sure that the, the way you walk uh, is, is reflective of Him, mm -hmm. um, amplifies Him, uh, and, and it's that, that thing about being led. Mm -hmm. um, so often we want to control everything. It's very easy to want to control yeah. life Can and elements that. of life for all of us. And, uh, and sometimes that one of the hardest things is to let go mm. and trust. Yeah, so true. And, um, and, and, and the great thing is we're not letting go and trusting in nothing. Mm. We're letting go and we're <laughs> trusting in, in our Father mm. who leads us by His Spirit. Yeah. Um, perhaps there are some basic ways of approaching mm. how to do that. Okay. Well, that, that's a good answer. Um, you know, normally with new beginnings, there's a there's a sense of excitement that comes with it. Um, what would you say uh, are you excited about for the new season ahead for Doxadeo Community Church? Wow, well, that's a big question. <laughs> um, I'm excited for what's been opening up over the last over the last year. Well, mm -hmm. nine months um, as we've been. Um, speaking with the facility management about that space, yeah, because it's not just about Sunday experience being in that facility. It's about how can we see more of what we are and who we are as Dogs Day Community Church um, in terms of our activities be found there. Mm. So that's quite exciting, and one of those things is the Sunday gathering. So I think that's really really great because it. It, it almost is as if we're putting a stamp on, here's where we're going to be. Um, not that we've been nomadic and we've been moving from one place to the next, but it, it, it might have felt almost like a nomadic time. And now we're getting to put our feet on the floor and say we're here every week. I th that was exciting about that is that it, it, becomes, it becomes somewhere that people will always know that we're at. Mm. So it, it makes invitation easier. Yeah. Um, it, makes, it makes visitation mm. from the local community easier. Um, it's, it's easier to make connections between the different elements of who we are as family to be, to be experienced because it's, it's not all in one place. We're not all in one place and we, we'll never go into that model. It has a stronger connection because mm. of that. That's and I think that's a really ex exciting place to be at. And 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 the the frequency of being in a room together. I don't know how you've how you've thought about this. Yeah. Um. Because you put the the question together, <laughs> but how you might think about the experience of gathering. 
is that um, there's something of a momentum we can pick up. Mm. And, uh, nice. and that's great because we get to do it together and we get to put it, get to put in together. And uh, we know we're going to frequently see one another, be together, encourage, lift, celebrate one mm -hmm. another. So those are very, very exciting things. Uh, very exciting things for us as, as church. But obviously, some days are the only, it's, it's only one part. Of course, yes. There's, uh, there's and yet it is an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Oh, well. And so I want to... Um, following question, want to tag it on mm. that one? Um, is what what are you um, anticipating for the next season ahead, or what are what are you trusting for? Um, that's a good question. I want to encourage you to actually <laughs> answer that question where you are. Perhaps if you're brave enough, put it in the public chat there. Mm. Um, what am I an what am I anticipating? I'm anticipating life. Wow. Uh, I'm anticipating and uh, anticipation and expectation, they're quite close. Mm. Um, I'm expecting that we hear, we hear more good news stories of life mm. and the life we live, not just a meandering life. Yeah. But but the Jesus life, the Christ mm. life, the, yeah. the resurrected life, the life that is actually about hope. Yes. Um, the the life which is which is it's almost like we're 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 ushered on and and almost kicked forward mm. with faith. Faith mm. for more. Mm. Um, faith for for more of, of an of an understanding of, of of our relationship with our Father, God but also more for what he wants to do in and through us as church um, in this city. And so I, one of the challenging things is looking at your newsreel yeah. and, and seeing all the negative, mm -hmm. awful, really, mm -hmm. really bad news stories yeah. that, 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 that come regularly again and again. Um, and actually, I'm expectant that the church has a voice mm -hmm. to bring a different narrative yeah one that one that is about love and unity um not not violence not uh hate not incompatible you know to, to work together um those sorts of things mm -hmm. um i i'm expecting for i'm expecting for life because it's what oh, jesus God. promised we should carry it yeah we should ooze it Mm. Uh, Christians should ooze it. Christians shouldn't be boring people. Yeah, and they shouldn't. Mm. And I'm not talking about some of those like little characteristics. I have little characteristics about me. I know you won't believe it, but I have little characteristics <laughs> about me which are, which are boring things. They're boring things about me. They just are. I'm not talking about that. Mm. I'm talking about the, the Christian should be uh, someone that uh, is is not just a good example. Mm. Should be someone that you wanna you wanna you wanna be following on with. You yeah, wanna, wanna be like them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's something about that person that you it's you intriguing. want for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. being intrigued by that is the is the is the way to connect and it's the draw to the person. But yeah. But really we we should <laughs> we should be full of life. Mm. New stories, not not old stories that have been told for years and years and years. I celebrate this and when we have a story to celebrate and we go back to it, the reason we go there is because it's, it's, um, it's a reminder of God's faithfulness. Mm, yes. But God is always doing new things. Yeah. God is always wanting to bring new things mm. to the fore. We should also recognize the new stuff that happens in our lives and happens around us. Um, and, you know, whether we're waiting for feedback from, from a medical department about some tests that have that have that, that we've had medical tests that we've had or um we're wondering about you know what's the next step in my career or we're wondering about what's going to happen at the end of the year hmm. uh we're not promised life to be easy but we are promised life mm -hmm. and yeah. it's that expectation to see life i i i, I really oh. expect that oh wow mm. Um, so, 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 you, so, you know, during the summer sessions, mm. uh, we've talked about uh, faith. So it was faith mm. in, in influence, and I can't remember all of them. But um, 
you know, talking about new beginnings, how do you see faith in, in, in new beginnings? Um, specific, specifically with, um, with Dr. Dayo Community Church. Yeah, um, faith is our year theme. So yeah. for, for anyone who's listening to this and you're, you're new to the church, uh, we this year felt God was speaking to us about uh, it being a year yeah. of faith. Mm. And we've unpacked some of that in, um, in recognizing uh, that we've, we've come alive in, in Jesus. We've, we've woken up to something because of Jesus and what he did on the cross yeah. and his resurrection. Um, and that it's good news and that there's a new life that we get to enter into, right? So new beginnings, new life. It's, it's actually a theme that runs through mm. scripture. Yeah. Um, and and there's, there's that, that's accessible for everybody. Mm. Um, it's a message for all. It's not yes. a message for some. It's a message for all. So we've been trying to unpack some of that and also work with the the faith that God births in us by his spirit. And that's something which is difficult to, to, to communicate and just intellectually receive. It's, re it's a revelation. Mm. And, um, and so, so faith for new beginnings, I, I, I don't want to look at it cold. Yeah. So if we, if we look at scripture, there's, there's examples in, in the Bible where people had to We've got this phrase, put your money where your mouth is, right? Yeah. Put your faith where your mouth is, yeah. essentially. Um, um, and one of those people was Abraham. Mm. And I know I'm going a long <laughs> way back now in history. Yeah. But if you go and look at Genesis 12, um, Abraham, God calls him. Mm. Um, can I read that? Perhaps? Of course, yes. Um, I'm going to read it from the message. It says, God told Abraham. Leave your country, your family, and your father's home for a land that I will show you. I'll make you a great nation and bless you. I'll make you famous. You'll be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I will curse. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. And if, if we read the full story of Abram, yeah. Abram um, married to Sarah. Yes. They, they don't have an heir. They don't mm -hmm. have a, 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 a child. And God promises them a child. Yes. And God promises all of these things mm. as, a, as a part of the call to step out into mm. something new. Yeah. And I have no idea what it must have been like to leave <laughs> the environment that Abram grew up in. Mm. And which was his, his biological parents' home, we assume, yes. with his wife, Sarah, and step out into somewhere and, and go somewhere based on hearing God say, I'm going to lead you, come answer my call, step mm. out, follow me. Yeah. Um, and Abram's life and his faith, the faith that he had, in that um, gives me courage mm. for new beginnings because I, you must be so convinced, you must be so convinced by something to step out mm. um, and without having assurances that you're gonna, you're gonna, all's gonna be well, mm. all's gonna be okay. Yes. Not everything's perfect, you can read <laughs> it, but yeah. they, there's a great deal of faith in that that, that, that was needed. And it's an amazing example. Mm. Because Abraham didn't have a Bible to look back on. Mm. Um, yeah. he, he didn't have the, the moment of the cross yeah. that we look at today yeah. and we say, you know, the, the defining moment for us mm. was when Jesus died on the cross and said, it's finished. I've mm. finished the old life. And he yeah. died and then he rose again to give us new life, right? New beginnings. Mm. So that's in his resurrection. Um, he didn't have that. He, he, he had to trust God's word. Yeah. This word. Yes. Oh, that's scary. Uh, it is. <laughs> and so we see an amazing example of someone who really takes God at his word. Yes. For a new season. Mm. And if you go and read the letter to the Hebrews, 
Abram, or Abraham as he's then named, mm. he is celebrated in the New Testament as an example of someone who lived a, an exemplary life of faith. Mm. And it wasn't just Abraham going, I'm going to will my will yeah. into action to follow God and put my faith there like that. Mm. It was actually Abraham allowing the word of God mm. to, to stir him in such, in such a way that it mm. was as though it was God's faith rising up within him. Yeah. One with him to mm. step out into that. Mm. And it's, like, it's stories like that. It's examples of people like that that give me courage. Mm. And, and, and I make the connection there, not because uh, I'm Abraham, um, <laughs> but because I remember when I needed to make a step mm. out of my home environment, yeah. which is actually 10 years ago this weekend. So oh, 10, wow. I've just realised that. So 10 years ago this weekend, <laughs> I moved to London. I moved to London from South Wales. I, I moved out of my mother and father's house and I moved out in answer to God's, God's call. Mm. And I didn't at the time think much about this passage. Mm. It was only something that came to me, to me later on. And there's something of a familiarity for me in that, that mm. I can, I, I think, wow, okay, yeah. I, I look at Abraham and there's someone who's an example to me. Yes. And I can look back to that moment 10 years ago in my mm. life where I needed to step out with <laughs> God and listen to him and follow him in something. Mm. Um, and I came to London as a next step in ministry. That's why I came. I didn't come to London because it was a random thing or I was <laughs> trying to uh, find, find a, one of my 10 options that I had in my pocket. It wasn't like that. It was I, mm. I knew God had spoken to me about stepping into a space of um, being part of ministry in church full time. Yeah. And, and that was foreign to me. That was new to me, completely new. Mm. Um, and th I don't have family here. So the only yeah. family that I have um, here in London is, is Stacey. Mm. Um, and the ch obviously the church. Yeah. The church became that. Yeah, and so it's looking, at, it's looking at the word. It's looking at moments in your life where you can see why you might have gone about that. Or someone else in your life. A friend or a family member who's gone through something similar, yeah, and and it just causes something of faith to stir and to, and to you give it that space. You are well, you either give it that space <laughs> or you don't give it that space to rise up within you, yeah, and and to take the step and um, for it not to be just like this um, idea, mm. um, a theological idea or yeah. a philosophical thought or anything like that. It's actually a practical action, mm. um, and I look back at that time and it was. It was a big decision, and it was hard in many ways, but God stayed true to his word that yes. he spoke to me mm. before that time. Yeah. So I look back at all this, and I go, yeah, God, you were faithful. So as there's a new season ahead of us right now, mm. for us as congregation, yeah. for, um, for our city, mm. um, as there's this new season, government, yeah, it's a new season, course. as there's this new season ahead of us, I'm not trusting in every element. I'm trusting in the, in the Lord. Mm. I'm trusting in the Lord for the season yeah. because he's, he's done it before. He'll do it again. His word is true. He's trustworthy. Yes. And, and I, I see too many examples, people examples, mm. um, where, where their lives uh, qualify this statement mm. for me never to trust it. Yeah. I hope that made sense. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, I hope so, that makes sense. <laughs> I think so. It was uh, very well said. Um, so we, we, we've talked a lot about, you know, the excitement that, it, that is found in, in new beginnings. But unfortunately, uh, new beginnings, like most things in life, uh, comes with certain uncertainties as well. Um, how would you say do you handle the uncertainties associated with new beginnings? How do you handle, how the, do you un handle the uncertainties? The uncertainties. Yeah. Oof, that's a big question. How do you handle the uncertainties? Can we come back to it? Of course, yes. 
And uh, so uh, we <laughs> <laughs> that one, I just need my brain to, to think <laughs> on it a little bit. Run. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. let's come back That's, to that one. I'll probably need more than <laughs> that more than uh, you do. Um, so we've talked extensively about um, uh, beginnings, mm. but uh, oftentimes the end of something is just as important, or sometimes mm. more valuable mm. than the beginning of something mm. else. Um, how do you ensure that you end a season well? I remember. I remember a few years ago, Yanni did a did a, um, a talk. He, he preached one one Sunday, and I don't remember the I don't remember the content. Mm. I remember the title of his of his talk, and it was finishing strong. Mm. I remember the name. Mm. Finishing strong. It's like. It's almost got a principle about it. Mm. It's it's almost a principle thing that it is a. Um, yeah. So when you when you come to when you come to working out how to do that. Um, it's. I look at I look I look at Jesus again. Yeah. Always look to Jesus. Yeah, always look to Jesus. <laughs> Maybe the answer to all of these questions is just Jesus. His, he finished strong. Mm. He went to the yeah. cross and he died. Yeah. But he rose again. Mm. And so in many ways it's not a finish, right? Uh, yeah, pro yeah, of course. But although he did say just, it's finished. Just come with us, right? <laughs> we, I th you, you know what we're saying. But he, he rose again. Yeah. There's been no one else in history mm. that has made a claim so radical as that and done mm. it. Mm. And actually, that's the thing that that sets the Christian apart in the world. Yes. Because what what you're actually trusting in is not a book with paper in it. Mm. Of course. You're trusting in. A tomb that's empty. Mm. You're trusting in a in a in a in a grave that that has no you know it hasn't got a name because there's no body in it. Yeah. And Jesus said he was going to do that. He 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 came to show the way mm. to God, but he said he he said he would do that. He said after three days mm. he will build this temple up again. Yeah. Um, and there's there's no one else who's got that. That power, and so when we, when we as followers of Jesus, outwork life, we have to recognise that we have the power of God alive and at yes. work within us. Mm. The resurrection power of new life, mm. um, which 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 Paul writes again and again to the to the church about, but also the the spirit of God. Is alive in us mm. the same spirit that, that rose Jesus rose from Jesus the from the dead, yeah, yeah. and with him we get to we get to face you know challenges difficulties we get to face for some people you know the start of a new season is the hardest part but for some people the end of a season is the hardest mm. part for mm. whatever reason we're all made differently yeah but the spirit of God helps us. He, 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 he urges us on. Mm. He empowers us. Yeah. He empowers us with his power to get through the things that we need to get through. Mm. So it's almost like a trust in him, in us. It's trusting that, 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 that he's dependable and, yeah. and we can walk through the end of this time with him because he's got, he's got something to say about the matter. Mm -hmm. Um, that he has spoken on the matter. I wonder if I could just uh, read to you something yes, that, go ahead. that uh, Paul wrote um, to, the, to the church in Ephesians. Um, he says, you did not learn Christ in this way if in fact you have heard him and have been taught by him just as truth is in Jesus that regarding your previous way of life you put off the old self which is being corrupted through deceitful desires and be continually renewed 
in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self created in God's image in the righteousness and holiness of the truth. There's this, there's this new life mm. that the spirit draws us into. It's almost as if he sometimes, he puts the stake in the ground and he, he sometimes needs to drag us through. Mm. Um, and, and as we navigate an end of a season, the transition into a new season, there's, there's, something, there's something about us going, okay, am I going to trust? Mm. Am I going to follow? It's that walking in step with the Spirit. Yeah, again. yeah, of course. Well, yeah. What was well, the last question again? Let's go back to that one. The, the previous uh, yeah. one. Um, let me just see. Um, so it was, um, so we talked about uh, the excitement, but there's also uncertainties mm. uh, associated mm -hmm. with, with new beginnings or starting a new season. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you, well, how would you say, do you handle the uncertainties associated with, with new beginnings. Yeah. Well, well, we don't do it on our own. We've of got course. one another. Um, that's an, 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 an immense strength mm -hmm. um, and an immense privilege for us yeah. to know that we've got brothers and sisters yeah. around us that, that, that. Can, can encourage, that can grab us by the arm and walk us through. Mm. Um, I, I sometimes have the privilege of doing that with some and many times mm. I have the honour of others doing that with me. Mm. And um, and so I, I, we're not lone wolves, we're not lone rangers, and anyone who wants to try and live that way, you're, you're not working out the Christian mm -hmm. life accurately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's, something, there's something to be said about um, individual, um, the individual approach to faith. Mm -hmm. um, we are all individuals, but we're called to something corporate, we're called to a body. Yeah. Um, so that's that's one thing which is really, really, really important, and it's practical mm, because it, it comes to connecting. Like it comes to conversation. <laughs> yeah. It comes to opening up your heart. It comes to trust. Mm. It comes to um, being able to have very frank conversations. Um, it comes to humility because you have to be sometimes you have to be humble to say, "Listen, Larue, I I don't know how to handle this." Yeah. And and I'm trying it, but I know I can come to you and, mm. and you can help me. What, what do you have to say about this? What, what wisdom do you have? Mm. And, and I've done that, right? <laughs> but there's been times as well where, where maybe you, you hear that or you have the opportunity to speak into someone's life and you realize, well, hang on a minute, before anything else is said, maybe we should pray. And so there's another thing mm. that we, we have yeah. in our arsenal, yes. which is prayer, mm. direct line to mm. the throne room yeah, yeah. Um, to talk to God about it prayer prayer is it's got it's got this sacrament element about it but but prayer is also as simple as having a conversation mm. yeah as simple as a conversation mm. um, and and it's a conversation of exchange mm. yeah so so prayer is also key mm -hmm. You know, and, and sometimes, I, I actually, I can, hear, I can almost hear the, the bell going and someone shouting, yeah, yeah, but what about when I don't get an answer to my prayer? Yeah. I don't know how to answer that because it's <laughs> difficult. There are prayers I have that haven't been answered. Mm. There are prayers I've prayed that have been answered. Mm. Um, I've, I, I've got to the place where I'm comfortable enough to say, okay, there are some things I'm not going to be able to determine wholly on my own. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's the it's the it's the principle of it because you you either recognise that God is <laughs> uh, there and available and wanting to journey with you through something, mm. or you decide to ignore that and walk your own way. Yeah. Um, humility, mm. without me saying wanting to draw too much um, time out of that, but I think having said the word humility, it requires it of us. Humility, mm. because we we must be humble enough to recognize. I don't have all the answers. I'm not always capable. Mm. Sometimes change isn't easy. Yeah, I don't like change. Some people <laughs> don't like change. Some people love change. Mm. We're all wired Definitely. differently. But to have the humility to approach it in an honest way. Yeah, um, and and God 
whatever word he gives, he, he never he never doesn't come through on it. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So simple. Yeah. Just need to apply it. Just yeah, you just <laughs> need to apply it. <laughs> just need to apply. Um, so finally, um, oh, well. come to the last question. Mm. Well, actually, it's uh, two questions. Okay. But one one question with two questions. Um, doesn't make sense, but yeah, here we go. Uh, so earlier, uh, I asked you about you know the excitement, um, you know, um, with new beginnings for the church. But um, you and Stacy are also approaching a new <laughs> beginning, uh, which I hope you are excited about. Um, for those who might not have heard yet, uh, can you share it with us a little bit more? Yeah, we're uh, we're <laughs> Stacy and I are um, really excited. So yes, we are. We are excited. We're really excited. Um, a few months back, we found out that Stacy is expecting, and so there's a there's a due date, which is in January of the coming year. 2023. Exciting. So yeah, we're really excited and that's a new season. And um, so it's going to be uh, the first time we've had a child and it's going to be, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. Every, someone asked me the other day, yeah. you know, uh, a question about how I feel about it. And everything, everything feels theory at the moment because it's the mm. idea of we're going to have a baby mm. and it's the idea of you've got all of these things that come with it. Especially for you as the man who's not carrying the child. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. This is starting to feel little movements and yeah. stuff and I and I'm, I, I love that because she, she recognises it and mm. um, so it's very exciting. Oh, yeah. That's very really cool. exciting. So now actually the final okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a church, uh, you know, how can we, how can we support you and how can we pray for you, for you as, you know, leading the church, Dr. Dale Community Church, into a new, wow. se- call it a new season, uh, but also for you and, and Stacey and your new beginnings? Okay, wow. Now that's a question I didn't expect. <laughs> um, wow, that's a beautiful question. Um, I think for, I think as, as church, um, it's less about, it's less about the, the, the serve me thing. It's the serve Jesus thing. Mm-hmm. Um, serve Jesus. I think as church, we need to just do that. Mm. And that means pitching up. Yeah. That means consistency. That means reading the word, following the word, applying the, the word to, to everyday life. Um, the, a dis- if you've got a decision to make in your life, look at the word what does the word say Mm. um as we approach a time of uncertainties because there's lots of uncertainties practical uncertainties ahead of us we're hearing a lot about it a lot of it a lot about it in the news um rightly uh how how we approach those scenarios i want to i want to ask the church to approach it with the word first Mm. word first um and and i am going to actually draw a line for you go to the new covenant this is the covenant we've been given Mm. we have a new covenant um we don't look to the old covenant for our standing Mm. because it we couldn't achieve it Mm. and it was for israel anyway it wasn't for us (laughs) we have a new covenant um and so look at look at the new testament things Look at the words of Jesus. Look at what, what Paul speaks about. Um, I think that's really, really key. And, to, and, and in doing that, what we're actually doing is we're being there for one another. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to the one another principle that we spoke about last week. When we pitch up and when we're consistent together and when we, when we put in, when we sow into the house financially, when we sow into the house with our time, when we sow into the house with our um, with our gifts and our um, capabilities and our passions, when we sow in, mm. um, we're not expending energy and expending money. We we we're, we're sowing it yeah. um, to the body, mm. to the glory of God, <laughs> for the body, and yes. so it lifts everybody. It, it actually creates even greater platforms for honoring and loving and sharing and um, and being able to thrive together and and for people not to go without you know 
Mm. Um, so I think in terms of where we are in the next season as church, it's mm. going to require of us to, to, to put in. Um, and that is the marker of a believer. Yeah. And, and, and we've, we've gone a whole interview mm. without mentioning COVID. <laughs> now I'm going to mention it. Because what's been highlighted yeah. off the back of COVID is that there were some things that we were carrying. And we're, mm. I, we're all in this, right? So there's some things that we were carrying as the church before, which was almost as if we were carrying dead wood. Mm. And, and, and coming out of it, God has, maybe God has um, given us better sight for the things which are important mm -hmm. and, um, the th and what we're actually called to um, as the body. So that's really, really, really key. Uh, if, 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 if you have an opportunity to serve on the hospitality team, you're not just putting the coffee in a cup and, and making sure it's hot. You're actually serving dignity and love and honour mm. and I thought of you to that yeah. person. And it's the same for all of the spaces where we serve in the Sunday gathering, through the week in our projects, in our workplaces, in our family lives, in, in the places where we give our time. Mm. It's, it's true for all of those areas. Yeah. So that's really, I think that's really it. Okay, well. I, hadn't, I didn't know you were going <laughs> to ask this um, at all. And I think for Stace and I, um, I think it would be to um, pray for us. Um, yeah, pray for us because it's going to be a change. Come January, it's going to be a change. Um, it's going to be an opportunity for the church to step up. Um, because while we're going to need to navigate this, it, it's going to mean that I might not find myself in every space or I might drop a ball here or there. We're going to need as family to pick this up together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's going to be a really, really, really important way for, um, for the church to, to encourage and help and serve us in that. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So, so can, can we do that? Uh, no, 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 can, no, we, no. can we pray for yeah, absolutely. together? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, just uh, pray mm. together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for uh, your provision through uh, this season that we are, um, where we are approaching the end of this season, Lord. Thank you for the beautiful summer that we had. Thank you for the time we've had together, uh, Lord. Thank you for the opportunities that we have uh, for the for the new season ahead, Lord. Mm. Uh, I just want to ask, Lord, for your favor, um, for for life. In, in the new season ahead, Lord, for all of us, for us as a, as a, as a church, Lord, and, and for us, one of us individually as well, Lord. Lord, I, I, I just want to pray for, for, for Matt <laughs> and, uh, Lord, as he is leading uh, the Doxadeo Community Church, Lord, just for his um, wisdom and insight in doing that, Lord. I also want to pray for, for him and Stacy, Lord, um, for your protection, um, mm. especially over Stacy and the little one uh, at this Lord. stage, Lord. Um, yeah, I just want to pray, Lord, as well for for your provision, Lord, for, for them as a, as, a, as a family, but also um, in the larger family in the church, Lord. I just want to pray, Lord, that um, you will help us uh, so that we can help one another, Lord. Mm. As, as Matt mentioned earlier, Lord, that we have one another. We are a body. Mm. And Lord, I just uh, ask, Lord, Holy Spirit, to, to, um, to, to strengthen us and, uh, and to, to build us up, Lord, um, as we um, step into this new season, this new beginning together, Lord. Mm. Um, thank you, Lord, for your love and for your grace. Uh, we love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. The room. Thank you. Can I read a scripture? Of course. Um, I'd love to just read this to you from uh, 1 Peter 1 verse 3. It's in the message. It says, what a God we have. Mm. So as we think about the new beginnings um, and uh, however, however one feels about the new beginnings ahead, uh, just head to this verse in, in the message. What a God we have. And how fortunate we are to have him, this father of our master Jesus. 
because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to live for. Mm. Wow. And um, and I, just thinking about the new season once again, yeah. uh, that's a great scripture to head and have a look at. Mm. And uh, I want to encourage you, uh, maybe where you are, to, to speak about some of the questions Leroux has asked me. Actually yeah. apply them yeah. to yourself. You'll find them so, in the chat. Yes, yes. So uh, maybe in your group where you are, um, just answer a question of uh, how do you see faith in New Beginnings for you? Mm. Um, where you are mm-hmm. In, in, mm-hmm. In, in, your, in in the spaces that you enter into. Brilliant. Brilliant yeah. stuff. We look forward to seeing you next week in person at the Croft. Yes, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, and now every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. every <laughs> Sunday from next week. And uh, look forward to seeing you then. Have a great rest of your bank holiday. Yes, and we'll see yeah. you soon.